And I also want to give a massive thanks to my beautiful now wife. <laughs> Everything you see in here has been brought in and organised by Sarah. I think she's got a new career as a wedding planner <laughs> as well as an artist. But uh, yeah, it, it's turned out brilliant and I really hope you all, you all love it. Um, yeah, thank you. Thank you for making it the perfect day in the world. Thank you. We're really appreciative that you've come down from Leicestershire or further afield. I know yesterday was a nightmare day on the roads and I've heard today it's not been much better either. So I hope you see why me and Sarah come down here probably every two, three months because we just love the area. and We wanted to experience a summer in the forest. We, we couldn't ask for better weather. It's, it's Scorchio, so. It's been an absolute joy to watch a very, very talkative little, little girl <laughs> with a sunshine personality to develop into a very beautiful, clever, compassionate and loving young lady that it was my honour and privilege to escort down the aisle today. To those of you who don't know, uh, me and Sarah are very hip, trendy young people. Um, we didn't meet in a bar, we didn't meet the conventional way, we met on the internet. And uh, my friends will tell you, um, I wasn't having much luck on the internet. I seem to be getting gargoyles, really. <laughs> want to wish them well. What I noted on the um, your wedding um, planner thing, your website, your blog for it, was that they had uh, anointed themselves the planner uh, and the follower. I'm not sure whose idea that was, but in my view that's a great way to run a marriage, so I always do as I'm told. So. <laughs> It wasn't until I um, really, truly fell head over heels in love with you that I knew what love was. Um, you, you are everything to me. You cook all my dinners, I'm a shirt. You, you know, staple of a marriage. 